the difference between someone who just does fantastic and someone who just doesn't quite just someone who falls up short yeah i think it also comes from like you know the the way you come up in the sport um some of these guys they come up and they're the best guy in their in their area for a long time and um <clears throat> you kind of get this attitude or, or this you start developing this persona of like i don't have to do all that work because like I, yeah. i'm not even doing that much and i'm still smashing everybody in here well that's where it's crazy about a guy like john jones he actually he, can do that. Yeah, right? <laughs> He's one of the rare guys that actually can do that. Man, I like I wonder how much money he's left on the table with with all these problems, especially with millions the attention that Connor's brought millions. to the sport. Yeah. And millions. a guy like John Jones. Yeah. You know? I know. As good as he is. Good as he is. And it I I feel like for the longest time too, he was trying to push this goody two shoes image. And everybody was like, well, that's not you. Like, yeah. This is fake. And then all of his problems sort of forced him to just be himself. And then people were like, we like you more now. Yeah. And then he winds up testing positive for something else, yeah. which I believe him. It was accidental. I believe that it was accidental in this, in this case, because it doesn't make any sense any other way. Because if you look at how he tested positive and what he tested positive for, and how recently he tested negative before that, yeah. and how recently afterwards he tested negative, you're talking about something that was a, such a minuscule trace amount. There's no way you could consider taking something like that and having it have some sort of positive uh, effect, you know, performance enhancing effect. Now, was that the the substance is it oral is it can it be taken orally? yeah it can be taken orally. okay yeah so i've heard i've heard and i don't know how true this is i would expect it to be somewhere true but i've heard like in boxing you know you, you um main eventers they've had these these issues where they would only they would provide their own food because they don't trust the staff right for, yeah. for somebody you know yep. spiking their food with something so you they could test. definitely have that so I don't, um, I mean, that sounds far-fetched, but it also sounds to some degree reasonable. Um, his position was weakened by his testimony in the California State Athletic Commission hearing because, um, first of all, he said that Malky had forged a signature on one of the documents, on one of the things that he was supposed to have gone over, like what you can and can't, I don't know, I think it was a USADA paperwork, or maybe it was California State Athletic Commission, Commission paperwork. Um, he apparently admitted that his manager forge a signature and they asked him have you ever considered getting a new manager yeah and he joked around about yeah he has he said no i'm just kidding um but that's not good and then there was a bunch of stuff in like what he provided as a possible <laughs> source of that stuff you know like he didn't he didn't have any of these a lot of the things that he provided as a source of this stuff in his list of stuff that he had taken yeah you know there's a lot going on there, man. But the real problem is, like, John at one point in time was being represented by Nike. I mean, he was representing Nike. He, was, he had a huge Nike contract. Yeah. That's, and that's huge. I mean, God damn, that was giant. Because that was pre Reebok, too. Yeah. That was the pre, pre Reebok days where he would have got all the juice. He would have got it all. And, you know, what can, the coulda, shoulda, woulda shit goes on forever. And on top, on top of that, of, um, the coulda, woulda, shoulda of that being pre-Reebok and it being Nike with everything that's come to the sport since then. Imagine if John, like he could, like he could have done a, a gone a Jordan route in some yeah. sense, you know, yeah. where he's got like a whole line of John Jones sure. MMA type shit that's Nike's For sure. behind, you know. He could be the heavyweight champion right now. Who knows? I mean, who knows? Well, he could absolutely, absolutely he could be in a super fight with Stipe. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. That would be a huge fucking fight, man, for yeah. MMA. John coming up to heavyweight. I mean, it's a huge fight for DC, with DC coming up to heavyweight. Yes, you know, and but, the only guy, the only guy to ever best him is John. Yeah, and not just best him, he KO'd him. Yeah, you know, I mean, he hit him with that left high kick that that DC said, "You're not going to hit me with that left kick." Yeah, he literally said that because he was saying he exposes some tendencies. He's like, oh, you mean the left kick? You're not going to hit me with that left high kick. And then, boom, he lands a left high kick. Uh, is that like the Titanic? A little bit. Like, um, right, yeah. it only sank because they said it wouldn't? Yeah, maybe. Mm. A little bit. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. We, um...